What's up guys, so I'm here at the Autel booth. I know Autel has made a big mark last year. So I know a lot of people have questions about what they have from 2018 and what's changed since last CES. So I'm gonna be talking with Timothy, who's our creative director here at Autel. He'll be giving us a little rundown of all the stuff that was talked about last year as well as what they have for 2019. All right, so my name's Tim. Welcome to the Autel Robotics booth for CES 2019. It's been an incredibly exciting uh, year for us. Behind me, we still have the Evo out there where we debuted it last year at CES and then ended up launching it in the summer of 2018. Uh, since then, we've made quite a few different firmware updates and added features that everybody's been asking us for. Uh, so we're super excited about that and it's been really, really successful for us. Uh, everybody's been asking about certain products that you know we showed off as concepts and prototypes last year. Uh, we're definitely in development of different things, but I can't quite say at this time what we're working for. But what I can tell you is that we're not looking to just match what the competition's doing. We're really looking for trying to get ahead and produce something that the consumer hasn't seen before, but we'll definitely enjoy using. So if you want, I can give you guys a quick tour of the booth and show you what we brought. So over here, we got Sydney. So we always bring people who actually work with us in the U.S. So these aren't you know, people that we bring in uh, just as like hired help to work our booth. These are actually people who, like, from our customer service team. Manning this knows all about the product. Things like our multi-charger. It's not just a piece of plastic that you can plug a bunch of batteries into. This actually detects uh, what the battery levels are and it charges things as fast as it can, balances it for you. It's got a nice texture to it, glows different colors. It's a nice premium feel to it that you come to expect with our products. One thing that we're really, really excited about is actually the live deck. So this right here is aimed towards a whole bunch of different markets. Those people that are using their drone for professional use generally and need different outputs. So things like an, uh, an ethernet port, so you can run it into a Mac or a PC an HDMI port where it's just gonna kick out that video uh, and then you can record it from there. Power button, you can match it to any of your Evo currently and still run the controller. And this will actually extend the range several kilometers away uh, from where the Evo is as well. So nice, simple, well-finished design, nice and clean. Two buttons to operate it. It's very, very simple. So we're really excited about this guy. For the guys that are really interested in the commercial segment, is that last year we showed off our dragonfish, but it was nice and high up in the in the cage. So here we've got the tablet, which is our ground station. So here you can actually come over, play with it, map out uh, what kind of or whatever type of mission that you want to do. And then we've got our base station. So this will add your PPK and RTK. Uh, abilities to your aircraft and extend the range. So we're looking at up to about 30 kilometers in its final form with the Dragonfish. And then here it is right here. So you can see that this is actually getting very close to what that final prototype should be, so where we've got a consumer type battery in it. It's got all of its antennas, still VTOL design where these motors actually rotate so that it's very efficient in a small compact area, but then flip back forward so that you can have a fixed wing type of flight time and, and range out of it. And then different payloads. So underneath here, this is, this is live, it's not glued in or anything. This is a stabilized 10X camera and then playing live right over there so you can see it on the TV. Down below it, we have a Sony A7 and that's gonna really do well for your mapping. So we're super excited here at the booth in 2019. 2018 was crazy. We kind of uh, redid ourselves and showed off a bunch of new products. Uh, 2019, we're kind of recapping everything and then propelling us forward uh, into the next year. So I appreciate you guys all checking us out and, and sticking with us and, and supporting us. So thank you and enjoy CES.